What's going on guys? Frank and Whitney here, your Geeky Gecko fighting duo. In today's video, we're gonna talk about our new Geeky Gecko creations, starter kits for leopard geckos. Now these will be good for other species as well, but it's really, really catered to leopard geckos, and I'd love to show you guys all the specs and features of it. Selling in the billions each year, Rainbow Mealworms is your one-stop shop for all your insect needs. Their quality feeders and A-plus customer service keep me coming back to support the health and growth of all of our animals. Visit them today at rainbowmealworms.net to place your order. Before we start real quick, check out our new Geeky Gecko Creations hats. They are the breathable mesh style, which is pretty comfortable, right? What would you say? I mean, yeah. I like it, especially in Arizona where it's really, really warm. It allows you to breathe a little bit. We have the GGC for Geeky Gecko Creations, and this is like a gray blue kind of whitish tan mixture. And then this is the black blue tan mixture. We also have new shirts in stock. So if you are interested in a new shirt, we are stocking the stone with the black logo, the black with the white logo, cardinal with the white logo. And we even have a couple new variations of pink with black logo and baby blue with black logo. So these are the variations we have. Reach out to us if you're looking for a shirt and we'll get it shipped out to you. So actually I'm gonna have my lovely wife here who's confused right now because she doesn't know I'm gonna have her do, show off our new Geeky Gecko starter kit. So just for reference, hon, why don't you go back where the wire is and you can hold it. So this is a 28 quart tub from Home Depot. It is the hefty model. You can see the hefty model right here, which means it has a locking lid. I do have adhered to the very bottom safely a heat strip. It's adhered with scotch tape and then duct tape over the scotch tape. And of course, electrical tape underneath that for all your safety needs. Nice little gecko logo branding that we have right there. And these I'm really happy with. There's two vents in the front, which are escape proof. They're hot glued in there and it would take a lot for a gecko to pop through. A gecko should not be popping through that. And then two in the back. And the cool thing about those is if you're in a rush, instead of filling up your gecko's water bowl, you could just spray in there onto the sides of the tub inside and it will allow the gecko to drink. Now, the other cool feature besides the locking lid for the hefty tubs is that hefty specifically makes it so that their lids are about two inches of extra room for the gecko to climb. So from the top of the tub upwards is still another two inches, which gives you more room of play for sticks and rocks that you might wanna put in here. Now this is just the base of what it comes with. It comes with a humid hide, which is right now positioned directly over the heat source and you could play around with it. It's at 84 degrees on top of the soil in here. So if the gecko digs down, it's gonna be able to reach 90 degrees if it wants to for a perfect basking zone. Now this is just plug and play. There's no thermostat needed because of the soil and because of the heat tape we use. It's not really the type of heat tape that's gonna generate a ton of heat. So you're perfectly fine if you don't wanna use a thermostat. If you do wanna buy a thermostat, I always like to recommend the Jumpstart thermostat from Amazon. It's a great thermostat for under $40. It works really well. We use it for egg incubation, room control. We use it for everything around here. And one of my favorite parts is our natural organic soil that I like to use. So the mixture of soil that I use is gonna be primarily organic soil from Home Depot. The next largest component is organic peat moss from Home Depot. And then the third component is a little bit of washed play sand, which is also organic. That's gonna create the perfect digging slash humidity mixture where your gecko, even if it was to ingest some of this, it's all natural and it should just pass right through its system. There's not a lot of sand content in here. So even if it licked up a sand grain or two, it should pass right through the system. It's gonna come with an escape free feeder dish from our sponsor, rainbowmealworms.net. You know, we love them. And if you have an adult leopard gecko, this is an eight ounce container. Sometimes it's used for selling geckos, but that would be great for an adult leopard gecko. You could wash it, clean it each week, or just buy these in bulk. 
and use them as disposable throwaways. And you can see temperature is holding really, really stable, even though it's pretty cool out here in Arizona right now in the shade, it's probably 65 to 75 degrees, like in that area. So if your room is 65 to 75 degrees, this is gonna hold temperature perfect. You'll also get one of these, I really like these, Vivo Sun waterproof digital thermometers. I buy these in packs of four and uh, they do have replaceable batteries that you could get from Amazon as well. And it has the cable that you could put anywhere in the tub to make sure that the temperatures are where you want them. Now, if you want to add any sticks or rocks, you can grab them from your backyard or your local woods, but I would recommend baking them in your oven for 350 degrees at 350 degrees for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. You could kind of look up different recipes people use when sterilizing the stuff that they find from nature because that stuff could have mites in it, scorpions, tarantulas, uh, black widows, it could have anything in there. So by putting it in your oven at 350 degrees, for about an hour or a certain period of time, that's gonna kill everything. And you could research maybe what lives in your area and what things that you need to kill off. And that way you know how long it should be in your oven. I think a general rule is about an hour or so and you're good. Now, another cool thing I like about these, obviously they lock so you don't have to worry about leopard geckos getting out, but they're also lightweight and easily transportable. And like I said, it's just plug and play. See, we have it plugged directly into an electrical source, which could be your wall. And it's adhered very safely and very securely to the bottom there. And now I'm gonna ask my lovely assistant once again to take it inside so we can kind of show you different options that you have of where you want to put it. So because of this being lightweight and because it's really easy to transport, you could put these almost anywhere. And if you do order them from us, you can stack them on top of each other, and that should be perfectly fine and safe. This is our generation one model, so I would love to get your guys' feedback on any pros, cons, anything that you experience. But in my experience, I took all the experience I have in DIY, you know we build everything ourselves around here, and I basically created a kit that I think would be awesome for someone. Depending where you live and where we need to ship it and how much shipping winds up costing, we will provide for you almost a lifetime's worth of this soil for you. It's very easy for me to get this to people who are in Arizona. If you're not, that's probably going to be about a five to eight pound bag. And if you want to pay for shipping for that included, uh, you can absolutely do that. If not, I could give you our patent pending secret recipe that we use from Home Depot for all organic living and soil. And that'll take care of it for you guys. It does get messy working with the soil. So Whitney is so kindly cleaning it up. So what you saw in here, which is about an inch of layer, we give you three times that amount in this bag. And if you're setting up a bioactive system for this, you could use isopods, you know, the little roly poly pill bugs and springtails. Or personally, what I like to do, I drop 50 to 100 mealworms in there and they become the decomposing crew. So they'll bury themselves into the dirt. Make sure your gecko can't get them, bury them in the dirt or put them in like a week before your gecko gets there. And then they'll turn into pupa, they'll turn into beetles, and that will be your natural decomposing crew. And then when the gecko poos, you could just take a little plastic spoon or something and scoop it out. And literally that amount of dirt that's included here would last you almost a lifetime of the gecko. Or you could come back and buy some more from us. The last thing that I will include is, of course, our number one recommended brand of supplementation that we use for all our geckos here, baby, juvenile, and adult breeders, is one part osteoform to three parts vionate, and we include a little starter pack of that for you. Okay, now Whitney's gonna demonstrate for us how this is gonna go a little bit. So the cool thing about these, they're super transportable, and they easily fit on these four foot iron shelves from Target, Walmart, if you have a bigger shelf like this customer did, you can absolutely fit two of them horizontal right next to each other. If you have a smaller shelf like this, which is a little bit less than four feet in width, you won't be able to fit two of these horizontal. It just barely doesn't fit, but you can fit two of them with the tubs facing vertically out like that. And again, the heat tape is perfectly safe to be on any surface or even stacked with the tubs. All right, well, I think that's it for our new Geeky Gecko Creation starter kits. I'm really excited to bring these to you guys. You know I'm all about DIY and doing things myself and being cost effective. And this, our model behind us, is just the first model of many things that we're gonna be trying to bring in and, and make available for you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Look for us at the Pomona Los Angeles Reptile Show 
if you're gonna be there, we will have these in stock over there. Right now, we're selling them for $75 plus shipping. The amount of work that goes into making one of these probably takes about an hour, hour and a half each one. So that price actually might go up to $100 just so it's worth the time and effort that I'm putting into the materials and all of that. So snag one now if you want, but it's $75 at a show, or maybe we'll run a sale at a show. I'm not sure, don't hold me to that. I like doing discounts, but Whitney's like, come on, the business needs to make money. So <laughs> anyway, before it goes up to $100, snag your, yourself one right now. If I had to guess how much shipping for this would be with the dirt, it might be 10 to $20 for shipping. So definitely a great deal if you're in the market for a efficient place to house your leopard gecko or leopard geckos. So we'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, have, have a, a geeky, geeky gecko, gecko. Great, great day. day. Peace. You're supposed to do the peace thing. <laughs> One, two, three, peace. peace.